Here's lessons six and three tenths, strategies for division. So let's talk about why division strategies. Well, we're learning division strategies because we need to know how division works and we need to become proficient in dividing. So let's look at the how. One of the strategies that we could use would be a diagram, a multiplication division diagram. Another strategy might be to use cubes and divide them into equal groups. And a third strategy might be to draw a picture, which a lot of you already do when you're trying to figure out how to divide. But we're really going to take a look at the fourth strategy today, which is to break the number that I'm dividing into smaller numbers. So when we think about writing a division problem, let's say that we have 134 divided by 6. As you can see, I have written that problem three different ways, and they all mean the same thing. They all mean 134 divided by 6. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we might want to start with multiples of 10. So I ask myself, are there at least 10 multiples of 6 in 134? The answer would be yes, because 10 sixes equals 60. What about 20 sixes? The answer to that question would be yes, because 20 sixes, 20 times 6 equals 120. What about 30 sixes? 30 times 6 would be 180, and we cannot go bigger than the number that we're dividing into. So 30 would not work. So what would we do in this situation? So in this situation, I would look at the number that I was dividing into, which is 134, and the number that was closest when we were figuring out how many sixes was 120. So I would subtract that from my 134, and I have 14 left over. So now I'm going to think about my single digit numbers that I can multiply times six that would be closest to 14 but does not go over, what would that number be? So hopefully you know that 6 times 2 would be the closest, which gives me 12. And what I'm going to do is take that 12 over here to my 14 and subtract, which leaves me with something that we call a remainder. It's the number that we have left over after a division problem that we can't take any more sixes from, for example, with this particular problem. So when we're looking at what's the answer to 134 divided by 6, in this instance, it's going to be this 20 plus this 2 and a remainder of 2. So this is one of the strategies that we're going to look at in class and practice. I have another video in the playlist for Unit 6 that is a bit longer. It's about 10 minutes. If you want to watch it, you are more than welcome to do so. It will go through more examples to try to help you better understand this process. So remember, in class, we will practice these different methods to divide and find out what works best for us. But if you decide you want to watch the remainder of that video or watch it, Again, in its entirety, you are more than welcome to do so on the YouTube channel. Bring it when you come to class.